So we've come into George Maple's um, change room or dressing room um, as she's noticed myself and you <laughs> today. <laughs> there she is, wearing our oriental star clothing and she's happy to want a piece for her after party tonight. Which matches. Yay! That's a little We wanted to touch on your style because we actually find what you wear quite inspiring. Oh, so, that's so lovely. Yeah. What we have, so when I'm on stage, basically, I would love to be able to wear the things that I can wear off stage. Yeah. But you have to be able to move. So, for example, like I've got one of my dancers tonight. We'll be wearing this is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's a French brand called Marine Serre. Oh, beautiful. And, and the matching shoes haven't come, but okay. it looks incredible on stage. And the reason that we have this is because the print will pick up in yeah. the lights because there's a lot of smoke and there's a lot of, and we're playing in darkness. Yeah, beautiful. So the, the costumes are all kind of balanced in that regard. I feel like I'm on like a cooking show or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, we've got some garlic. Here yeah. we've got a Gucci t-shirt. <laughs> Um, actually matches my headband right now. It actually does. <laughs> um, I don't know where his pants are. Where are his pants? Is he wearing them? He might be wearing them. Okay, okay. so that they have, and we have reflective pants. Oh, cool. um, So that there's just that shine, and then yeah. he'll be wearing one of these around his waist. I just saw someone walking around in one of those. Oh, that's my, my friend Rush. It was okay. cold. Okay. <laughs> so these are the pants, and these are it's from Hope. I just got it. Originally, I wanted to get the um, Wanda Nylon ones, but they sold out the gold ones. I had to get these really last okay. minute. Okay. Yeah. So they're, I mean, they're great, and they will. Because the idea is that the dancers, this is all. This is not going to go like before the show. No, 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 no. <laughs> this the is all. This is all after. Don't worry. The dancers have a moment where they put the hoods on. Yeah. So what I needed was I needed something that reflected the light. Yep. Beautiful. And still looks, you know, it doesn't look cheap. So it's, it, it kind of. Um, and so they come out with the hoods on and then they come In out. one scene. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's, yeah. Just, it's just purely for the effect of having a group of, of kind of shiny objects coming towards you. Yeah. There's so okay. much of it, you know, if something looks good in real life, it looks really strange on stage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the, stage more, is the more abstract it is and the more unique it is, it's kind of... Yeah. yeah. Well, there's this specific thing. So for this, the dance has to be able to move and we want silhouette because I use a lot of LEDs behind. So yeah. we want to be able to like these shapes and these silhouettes yeah and, that's something that's and they always look incredible in the camera as well when you're photographing and then this one oh, i love this so much so is this, this for is you <laughs> i get this sparkly one yeah and i'll wear obviously we're wearing the head yeah. headband which i i'm not going to attempt to reattach to my head no <laughs> <laughs> um but this is uh brognano i got it from farfetched yeah but, um it's it's stunning it's amazing and yeah. it's just this from experience, this is how much sparkle you need on stage when it's dark and then yeah. lights and smoke. So I've got my. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so I, kind of, I, was, I was tossing up which ones I wear, but I have they're, they're actually my dream boot. Oh, they're fantastic, you can try, you can aren't they? Oh my god, please. Thank you. <laughs> but they're incredible. Yeah, they're good. These have been really great. And they're really good because the heel has got a really good amount of padding. They jump a lot. So yeah. It's, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so that's what's so happening. So you, you can actually, you can run around in these and you're fine. You prefer, you're okay with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, is. totally. If there was something that didn't arrive, which is really funny, you guys are going to laugh. There's actually a gold Komodo was meant to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't come in time, so I don't know if I was going to start with the gold Komodo. Yes. Uh, how exciting that you for showing us oh, through that. Oh, so cool. I love it. Oh. Really, there's so many women out there, like, not just women as well, but people that look up to you. Oh, the, the yeah. <laughs> That's really, yeah. I'm really glad. <laughs> but where do you, like, what do you do, like, as far as clothing goes, though, like, when you go to sourcing, do you have a stylist that looks for you, or do you go through it yourself? And, like, this you know, one was all, all me. Yeah. But the, I definitely have a second opinion. Yeah. And I've def, I've got my, my creative, I call it my creative collaborator, because yeah. I think the stigma of, like, having a creative director, it's, like, yeah. implies that there's someone like telling completely you know what I mean and that's yeah. completely the opposite and you want it to be more internal of what yeah you're yeah at the time as well, well it also yeah. it's like if you look at every single everything everything that kind of goes on has there's nothing that's just like given yeah. you know it's just it's all 
that's really important to me that that is the case. Yeah, I'm thinking afterwards. I can't, actually, I'm really excited to get off stage so I can get into Get this. into that. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I have Aperol on my writer. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new edition and I'm really excited about it. So as soon as I get off stage, I am slowly mastering the art of Aperol scripts. Yes. Do you like I, feel like, I feel like it's a bit of a waste of Motley because you're not going to be able to taste it. But. Do you like Negronis? Uh, I do. But I think they get me drunk too quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so I, that's why, that's why I like Aperols because it's kind of chill when yeah. I don't have to. Yeah. Oh, thank you for going through all of that. If thank you're you. cool with that, we might just do a couple of photos in here. Yeah, let's do it. Do that. Yeah. Awesome. I just want to get that big bucket. Oops.